Hey everyone, how's it going? Today what I want to talk about is how to composite your 3D models into a 2D image. And I want to talk a lot about uh, the basics of doing this for the novice users that are new to Lightwave and uh, are interested in compositing uh, even inside of Lightwave. So what we're going to talk about is the basics of laying out UVs, which is the process of placing your textures exactly where you want them on your 3D model. And then we're also going to talk about uh, matching our camera to the ground plane of the image. And we're going to match the lighting. And we're also going to talk a little bit about front projection mapping. So let's just jump right into it and get started. Uh, in Modeler, we can hit the D key, and that will bring up the Display Options panel. Under the Backdrop tab, we have Top Left, Top Right, Bottom Left, and Bottom Right. So under the Image tab for the Bottom Left viewport, I'm going to load in uh, this image for a candy called Daredevils. Uh, and apparently they're devilishly hot. I just did a Google search for this and, and found this candy. But you can do a Google search and you know find whichever candy you want. So now that that's loaded in, I want to go to the top left and load in our top view. And then I want to come to the right viewport, which would be bottom right. And let's load in, uh, say this one. All right. So now what I'm going to do is save our backdrops. Well, actually, not quite yet. I want to zoom in here because I want the top image to match the bottom image. So what we're going to do is just simply scale that down. And you can do that inside of Lightwave or in Photoshop. But in the top left, I'm going to come down here to Size. And I'm just going to decrease that right to about there. So now that everything is set up and the, the right one's matching perfectly, we can go to Presets and Save All Backdrops. I'm just going to overwrite this one. That way, if you close out a modeler and you come back into it, your viewports or the, the background images in your viewports aren't going to be here. But you can simply come to the Backdrop tab, go to Presets, and load the backdrop in. So now that those are set up, let's begin modeling. And clearly, this is just going to be a simple box. So we can go to the Create tab, choose Box, or the hotkey is Shift X. And just left click and drag out a box here and pull it up in this viewport. And we really just want to align certain areas. And I'm not going to go outside the area. I'll actually stay inside it a little bit. OK. So now we can drop the tool to the space, space bar or the Enter key and then shift A to fit selected. So there you can see we have our simple primitive that actually matches the texture size. So what I want to do now is lay out the UVs for this. So in the top viewport, I'm going to choose UV texture. And what you see here is our UV space. If you look at the bottom right of the viewport, or of the modeler interface, you see we have a T, that stands for texture. And I'm going to click on None, and then choose New. And here you can see we have Create UV Texture Map. So I'm just going to type in Candy Box. And that will be the name of our UV. Now, before I actually create these UVs, I want to go to the Detail tab. And I actually want to unweld uh, the points from this. Because as you can see now, if I select this polygon and then hit T for Move, it's all connected. Now, if I unweld it and select that polygon and move it, you can see that it moves away separately. I just like dealing with UVs uh, by unwelding the points. So let's go ahead and unweld it. And what we're going to do is zoom in here. And I'm going to select the front polygon and also the back polygon. And for settings, I'm going to go to Manual. And I'm just going to zero all these out. So I can scale them uh, however I wish in the UV texture space. And we're going to project a planar map down the Z axis. Hit Create. And you can see that right here is our front and back uh, polygons. So 
So hit Shift H and scale that down, and then just move it into place. And then I'm going to deselect the front one, T for move, and move down the back one. All right, so now we have those laid out, and click anywhere where there's a blank area to drop the selection of that polygon. Now I'm going to lasso select the top polygon, shift and lasso select the bottom polygon. This time we're going to project it down the Y axis. I'm going to create that, shift H for scale, and just scale that down. And match the size as best as you can. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. And then I'm going to deselect the top polygon, T for move, and move that one down. And now there's only two more left to do, which is lasso selecting the left side and then the right side. And this time we're going to project it down the X axis. So I'm going to create that. Let's hit Shift H and scale that down. T for move, just move that over. And then I'm going to deselect the left side, T for move, and move that one over. So hitting the A key will zoom out and show the selected. And now we can X out of this Create UV Texture Map. And you can see that these are our UVs. And there's two more steps we have to do. First, we have to merge those points back together because we unwelded them. So the hotkey for that is M. If you hit the M key, Automatic is fine, choose OK. You can see down here that 16 points have been eliminated. Now if you select the top polygon and try to move it, it's all connected again. And just Control Z to undo that. We also need to give our uh, candy box a surface name. So I'm going to select one polygon and hit the right bracket key to select all of it. Hit the Q key, which is change surface, or you can find that right down here. And I'm going to change it to candy box and hit OK. So now what we want to do is take our UV space into Photoshop so that we can line up our textures. So what I'm going to do is expand this window here. I'm going to zoom in and I am just going to print screen. So I'm going to hit the print screen button a couple times and then we can hit this button again to zoom back out. And let's go into Photoshop and what I want to do in here is hit Control N to create a new document. Hit OK. And then we're going to hit Control V to paste it. And let's go to the cropping tool and just crop that out. So now that we have that lined up, we can load in our images. So Control O. And we're going to load in the back, the bottom, the front the left, the right, and the top. Okay, those are all loaded in. So let's come across the back one and we're going to just drag that into our panel there. And then the front one and drag this in. Okay, and we're going to need to scale these down a little bit. So right there is fine, and then just line them up like so. So I want our, let's see, yeah, the one with the sticker on it could be the front, uh, I think so, or you could do it vice versa. So remember, our top polygon was the front side of our box, and uh, then this one down here is the back, and then you have the top and the bottom, and then you have the left and the right. So those seem to be lined up fine. Let me just scale them up a little bit more. And then you can use the arrow keys to put them in place. That seems fine. Let's go to the bottom, drag that one in, the top, and drag that in. And let's line those up now and scale those down. Just get one lined up and then the other one should fit fine. Okay, so we have the top and then let's bring down the bottom. And that seems fine. Move that one up a little bit. 
Now all that's left is the left side and the right side. And we're just going to do the same thing. Get one of them lined up, and then the other one should fit fine. Actually, we got to put the words on the left side and the barcode on the right side. And let's maybe move the barcode over a little bit. Oops. Okay. So now let's zoom out of this. And what I want to do is save it. So I'm going to save as JPEG. And I'm just going to call this uh, map tutorial. Oops. Okay, save that. And maximum quality 12 JPEG. Okay. Now let's go back into Modeler. And what we're going to do is go to the surface editor. And for candy box, go to the texture editor. And the layer type as an image map is fine because the projection is going to be our UV. And what is our UV map? Well, it's candy box because that's what we named it in the T down there for texture. So now I'm going to go to image and I'm going to load our image in. And that's map tutorial. Okay. And I'm going to turn off pixel blending. And that's fine. And also, I'm going to turn off bitmap quality and use texture. So you can see here that our textures are applied now and they are exactly where we placed them in Photoshop. That's pretty cool. What I want to do is go into uh, the UV texture here and there's none aside of it and I want to choose map tutorial. And I'm just going to come in to here and maximize it. And I'm going to shift around some things. So I'm going to select these two points and I'm just going to move those in slightly. And actually, same thing for most of these, just cleaning it up a little bit. Down here. And the reason this happened was just because uh, the cropping in Photoshop wasn't uh, perfect. But no worries, you can just select the whole polygon and, and move it up. And shift these around in the space to align it how you want. You can scale those down actually a little bit. And you select these two top points here. So what you are going to notice now is that some of our textures need to be flipped. You can see daredevils here spelled backwards and uh, also the daredevils on the side and even on the bottom. And no worries, that's an easy fix. We just got to go back to Photoshop. And let's go to Control, click on uh, the back. And I'm going to hit Control T for transform options. And up here, the W for width, I'm going to type in negative 100. So that's going to flip it inside of Photoshop. And the Daredevil is on the bottom. I'm going to Control click on that. And hit Control T. And for the height, we're going to do negative 100. And then I believe for the daredevils on the side, I actually think it was uh, both negative. And such as that. So now let's just save that again. Control S, save it as a JPEG, and just overwrite that, and hit OK. When we go back to Modeler, you're going to notice that it hasn't updated yet. That's because we need to go into our image editor. And let me just pan around here. And for map tutorial, just hit reload. You can see there it is. Right. So all seems well now. Let's uh, go ahead and save this. I'm just going to hit Control S. And I'm going to save it as Candy Box Tutorial. And hit Save. I'm going to overwrite that. Uh, I'm going to end the first part here and then start up part two once we get into layout. So uh, I'll see you guys then.